going everybody? Welcome to Python Leaker Solution Tutorial number 23, Merge Case Source List. So if you're new here, welcome. Be sure to visit nianliblog.com. Uh, there are a lot of Python projects and articles here. So you can just go to Leak Code and go to this page. Uh, there are many um, solutions here and also you can vote for your question. So the question with higher values will actually get the priority for me to make a video on it. So let's just take a look to the question. So in this question, it says to merge k sort sorted length list and return it as a one sort list. So here in this example, there are actually three um, different uh, uh, linked lists actually in a in a in one list. So there are three different items in this list. And after this function, it is going to return to the output, uh, which is a linked list here. So let's take a look to how to uh, to the algorithm to this problem. So I'm going to share on um, two different kind of solutions. So in this tutorial, we're going to have the first solution. So the first solution is every time since uh, since the head is actually at the beginning, the head is at the first node of each linked list. So every time we just compare on um, the head nodes, and first of all, um, before we start, so the first loop should be here. So after here, we get a mean value that is one. So here we just get this one value and we um, get that node and put that node to the next. So here for the next loop, then it should be, the hash should be like here. And after the loop is actually here, then what we're going to do is actually we compare these three. And here we get um, the, the value, the main value that is one. So by comparison, the same uh, logic, we get this one out um, to, a, to a list, for example, x equals to this one. Every time we just append the mean value to here, and it comes to next. And for the next loop, then it will be um, 4, 3, and 2. So we get the mean value that is 2, so on and so forth. But just to make sure here, Every time when um, we get to the last node of every linked list, which the next value is actually not. So in that case, we actually just delete this whole thing. And for the while loop, if after we finish all of them, we delete all of these three uh, linked lists, then there is actually no item in this list. And in that case, our loop should end. So let's take a look on how to solve uh, this question. So I've copied something here. So first is um, the class of the linked list. And the second is uh, the initialized value for the nodes and also the list here. And here, uh, just temporarily um, just ignore this part. Um, so after we finish on uh, the solution part here, we can, we can actually view uh, the result here. That is much more intuitive. So first of all, I would like to define an empty list that is to append um, all the main value um, in each comparison loop. So while, so long as there is um, an list um, items in the list, so we're going to do something. So first of all is our main value. Um, so here we just get the main so the main function here is actually get a variable of a list and it can compare all the items in the list and return to the main value. So for the main value here is actually list i. So this is actually for, um, for example, i equals to zero, that is the first item in the list for i in range length list. So here is how many, how many um, list items and it's just a range. So we just compare and we put the index of y value to the list variable here and one by one. So we can actually get a list of the current uh, nodes value. Oh, and here we should have value. Since we're comparing the value and stuff. Um, next, we are going to have an index equal to zero. So this index is actually to memorize which, um, which item in the list temporarily. So later I will show you what does this use for. So for L in the list. So L is actually um, the nodes in the list. If L value 
equals to if this value equals to main value, then we just append um, the L to this. Um, what's more, we're going to do something else. Since every time you just a point um, in this list, list variable, uh, every time we compare this, we actually just compare um, the pointer, the nodes with the pointer. So after we append this, we have to do something else. So we have to make this node, uh, which appoints to the next node. So we just go from this node to the next node in order to, for us to compare um, the other. Uh, in the next node, we compare um, different nodes value. So uh, if, so first of all, if is if this is none, so it's already reached to the end. And if it reaches to the end, then we have to remove this. So uh, let's remove, and let's we remove this L out. Else, um, it just appoints uh, to the next node. And here, uh, we have the index here. That is, let's index next uh, is equal to the L next. So in the list variable, um, we can come to which index here, and this the next value is actually the L. Uh, that is the current pointer here, and is actually the next value. And here we ha also need to have index plus equals to one. So for example, if the main value is the second item in the list, so first of all is index equals to zero. So of course, um, that is first item. So the first item is not equal to the main value. So it will just jump uh, from this if. Uh, also, we need a break here. So um, it will jump of this if function, then goes to here in this for loop. So the index will plus one, and here is uh, one, and that is the second item in the list. Then for the second item, if this equals to the main value, then we just append uh, this uh, node to the x, that is our, our result list, and um, we just check it, check it out, and after checking it out, do some um, do proper um, procedures, when we just break this for loop. Oh, sorry, we just we just um, break yeah break this for loop and goes to it again after comparison. Then just do it again and again until uh, every time and to the last we just we just remove this L and when everything is appended to X, then the list will just become an empty list. Then there's nothing. So we just break out the uh, while loop. So next is we are going to have X length equals to left x minus 1. So this is actually not exactly the length, but the index of x. Uh, the reason I will show you later in range. So we are, after we append all, all the values from our original list to x, um, and it's actually a sorted list, however, uh, the next it, the value is sorted, but um, the next va value that is here uh, is still um, not sequentially. So what we're going to do is we're going to have x next um, equals to x i plus 1. So for every time, uh, the previous node will just point to the next node. However, the beautiful thing here is on the x length, so in range x length, for example, x length equals to 10, then range x 10 uh, will actually only returns to 9. See, the reason why I do this is because for the last value, the last node in x list, actually the next value should appoint to none. Since, it, um, yeah, I, I know you got what I mean. <laughs> since there is the last node and the next value should point to none. And we just return to the first. So let's just take a look for it. Oh, it's a little bit messy. Oh, um, <laughs> since we haven't do something here. It's none. 
So this is actually if I make this to the solution and we just put the value here. So um, this is a linked list, actually a list of three linked lists. So we just put a result here and um, we just print out value. And let's see. Oh, it appears some error. So here on um, the list here is actually um, the items in our list variable. So it actually only has three um, variables in our case. So here we should not have the next um, stuff here. Since there is no next. <laughs> okay, cool. So it just print out um, all these values one by one. So it's pretty cool. So how about the complexity? So for the complexity here is actually um, in this for loop is actually a big O of N and in this loop is also another big O of N. So even though there are two big O of N, um, the result is still big O of N. So um, I think this is the end for this tutorial that is solution one. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to introduce another method. Um, I think that is much more easier. Uh, thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next tutorial.